So now in this video we're going to look at how to use one of these DSO shell oscilloscopes. This particular one has the Atepan name on it. I think that's how you pronounce it. But in any case, there's uh, I think different people put different names on there. And there's the on off switch right down there. And so turn it on uh, really straightforward. There's alligator clips at the end of the cable here. Really important to notice this part if you buy a brand new one. I'll get to that in a little bit. But in any case, the cable here comes out and it comes to alligator clips. So I clip them to jumpers right there, uh, jumper, breadboard jumpers. And then just I can move the breadboard jumpers around really easily. And the, that end of the breadboard jumper tacks into the breadboard. So that's what I do all the time. Now, we can see the voltage that I have here. It is a, a trim pot, the power supply, set to 5 volts. And if I turn the uh, trim pot, we'll zoom back, this uh, green bar there, so it's actually about 4 volts right now. I can turn it up to a 5 and uh, down to a 0. So actually, we have a slight delay here. I did a little bit of uh, adjusting this. But uh, you can see it was pretty close to right away we saw what was coming up. It wasn't quite. Now, if I turn the dial uh, to the left, right there, it goes all the way to the front. There we go. Now we should see the uh, sudden delay. So the reason why I'm emphasizing this so much, there you can see, right, when I turn the knob, it changes, is because when you buy this, so as you can see, we can either change the seconds or that display, here is a little dial that you turn. That's how you make your adjustments. If you press the uh, dial straight down, right up there you'll see some arrows. So when you want to speed up what turning the dial does, you press that arrow. So now I have to turn this clockwise. I can zoom back a little bit. I have to turn this clockwise, but now that bar is moving towards the middle. And we can keep going. So what that's doing is uh, we can uh, pause this and then turn the dial. To look uh, back in time without it scrolling or we can go back in time while it is scrolling uh, whatever you want but in any case when you buy this uh, brand new at least when I bought this one and somebody that commented it starts off in the middle right there it's really annoying so right now it's not paused and uh, I'm gonna turn the dial a bunch of times so what I was measuring nothing was changing and uh, so now it, it is being recorded but it's uh, way to the right there. So I'll turn the dial counterclockwise to go forward. There you can see it's finally catching up. So that's the first thing you want to do is turn the dial all the way to the right. So I spent a lot of time on that, but that was really frustrating when I first got this. So now our first button to the left is the uh, voltage per divisions and also it moves where zero volts is right there. So we're at about two and a half volts. The trim pot is set about halfway and the arrows are up there so it's going faster as I turn the dial. We can set zero wherever we want and go in relationship to that. Sometimes you have a negative voltage, it will dip down. So you would not want that arrow at the bottom. You won't see those uh, negative voltages. But that's how fast it goes when you have the arrows. You press the knob straight down again and it uh, goes away. And there's the speed when you don't have that pressed down. So now we have the voltage per division. So right now it is one volt per division. So it's uh, one, two uh, and a half right there. And there you can see the trim pot set about halfway with a five volt power supply. So let's turn this all the way up. And uh, there you can see five volts. Now let's put the power supply to 10 volts or it could have gone to a uh, 15 and make sure everything on the board that's being powered can handle that. I removed everything but the trim pot electrically. And in any case, you can see that the line is off the screen right now. And if I turn this to uh, 2 volts per division, that was half a volt. There we go. Now it dropped down. Now it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 right there. And looks like it's uh, slightly higher for uh, some reason. But in uh, any case, we got uh, 10 volts right there. That's what this dial does. Either moves that line or you can change the uh, voltage per division. 
So now we're going to go to the other extreme, which had some surprises that I wouldn't have noticed without the oscilloscope. So this is a fraction of a volt, uh, point, uh, 0.3, and of course with 2 volts per division, that's very down low. It's hard to tell exactly what it is. And also, you can probably already tell it's wavering. And so we can just do the uh, voltage per division and set it, turning the dial uh, clockwise, down to a 0.1 volt. So that's 0.1 volt, there we got 0.3, and there you can see the line is very wavering. I did not expect that, but I did a test run before I filmed this, and so I expected to film it. So I grabbed a 1000 microfarad capacitor, a much value, uh, smaller value should work, but in case, put the positive side there, the negative there, I thought maybe that would help, and this time it did help. It actually did not help earlier, but in any case, maybe it's because uh, I didn't have the capacitor close enough to the uh, probes there. But in any case, there you can see the uh, purpose of a smoothing capacitor. Now before that worked, I was able to put that up to uh, 0.7 volts, which was still wavering, until I added the capacitor. And uh, so we'll just do that again. And we saw before at higher voltages it was smooth. Let's take a look. But there you can see it's up seven squares, uh, 0.7, and now it's more wavering. So we have that. But in any case, that's to get a lower voltage. Let's get this back to one really quick and then continue on. So now we're back to five volts on there. You can see five volts there. That's measuring the output of the trim pot where we can vary the voltage. Again, it's one second per division. That's what we're gonna change this time. So now you can see it takes about a second before it goes from where it changed to the line right there. We can either slow this down or speed it up by uh, seconds per division. So it's one second per division, and if I turn it uh, clockwise, so I turned it uh, that way, there you can see the number gets lower. Turning it that way, turning it that way, it gets higher. So we'll go to a tenth of a second right there. That's per square, and you're going to see a, a rapid change when I change the voltage right there. So it's going a whole lot faster, and of course, we can make it so it goes a whole lot slower. Uh, really straightforward there, so I'm not gonna dwell on it too much, but let's go uh, 10 seconds. So we wanna see a lot of info for whatever reason, and uh, I'm gonna get it off of that, so I don't accidentally get it away from there. But we wanna see a lot of info on the screen. And uh, there you go, I was actually turning the uh, dial. No, it just took that long to uh, show up. There you can see the changes over a long period of time. That's way too uh, slow, so. Let's uh, change it to uh, two seconds per division. And so it's not updating the screen. It's just updating at the beginning, as you can see there. So we'll go to two seconds per division and uh, turn this. Now you can see it's going slower than it was. We got more info. That is the more uh, main takeaway. So let's get her back to one second and move on. We can also make sure that is all the way forward by turning counterclockwise just in case I accidentally moved it earlier. So now I moved the uh, zero volt point up there for the yellow arrow. The reason why is because there's also a purple arrow which was just sitting down at the bottom, you may have noticed, but actually it's below where that one is. And so when you speed things up fast enough, you make this number really low so you can see stuff that's happening really quickly. At some point it jumps to that purple one. So I don't have a demonstration circuit for that now. But in any case, you can move where that goes the same way. You hit the uh, trigger. So I don't really use those ever. I have nothing to add to that in this video. But in any case, there you can see now that is highlighted. If I turn the uh, dial, let's press the knob down so there's the arrows there. Now you can see that you can move it. So when you speed it up, it jumps to that one. And uh, so you got to be paying attention to that one. And uh, that's really about all I have to add to that right now. So now we're back to one volt per division and one second per division. I'm going to wobble this. We're going to look at the OK button. So I'm going to uh, wobble the voltage around really quickly. And then we're going to go and zoom in. And I'm going to hit the OK button. There you can see that we paused it right there. There's another thing that this OK does. You press it again, it unpauses it, and uh, the data moves off. Be aware of that. But in any case, you unpause it, pause it. If you hold the OK button down, when you have uh, 
oscillations or whatever, there's a voltage that's rapidly changing, especially if it's going positive, negative, or whatever, you get a lot of info right here. We even got a duty uh, percent cycle. So it's it was low about 80% of the time and high about 18% of the time, almost 20% of the time. But in any case, this is a bunch of info when you're looking at faster circuits, the frequency in hertz and uh, whatnot. So you don't have to pause it to, to look at that. It updates in uh, real time. And so you'll see the numbers change as I move. So it's keeping track of all the information along that bar though, not just what you see on the screen. There you can see as I go up more, the duty is going up higher right there. As I said, that's the percentage that it's higher than uh, lower. That's the uh, main thing. But in any case, you just hold that button down for that display, and uh, it's a little harder to get rid of, actually. And uh, it seemed to pop up really easy, but sometimes I have a little trouble getting rid of it. There we go. It's gone. So that's the OK button. So that's really all about, I know, about this right now. I, I mostly do the these... Uh, slow voltage changes and so that's uh, what I know best but uh, in any case hopefully you still enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting click like subscribe the bell all that donate to patreon if you can I put a link down in the description that helps out the most but just watching the videos helps out a ton too so thanks for that I'll see you in the next video